is Julie Ellison here in Boulder Canyon to show you a really simple and safe way to clean bolted sport anchors. Cleaning the anchors is probably the most technical thing in sport climbing and it's really easy to learn but it's also really easy to make mistakes. So make sure you really pay attention to what you're doing. So I've climbed up to the top of my sport climb and I have two quick draws, one in each bolt uh, with bottom gates uh, facing in opposite directions. So I've climbed up, I'm gonna clip the rope into the right draw, like I normally would. And then instead of clipping the rope into the left draw, I'm actually gonna go directly into this by clipping this to my belay loop, like so. You might have to pull up on the gear to do that, that's totally fine. So I'm gonna sit back and wait this. And I'm actually indirect to the anchor, but my belayer is gonna keep me on belay the entire time. So I'm in with this piece, and I need to create a backup for that. So to do that, I need to get some slack from my belayer. Can I get some slack, Amanda? And I'm gonna pull that slack from between myself and this far draw, like so. I'm gonna pull up a couple feet. And then I'm gonna tie either an overhand on a bite or a figure eight on a bite. Here, I'll tie an overhand just because it's really quick. And the only extra piece of gear that you need is actually one locking beater. You don't need to bring any slings, extra draws, any daisy chains, or nothing like that. So I'm gonna take that locker and I'm gonna lock this knot back to my belay loop. Lock the beaner. And my belayer still has me on belay, so this is actually acting as a backup for this. So I'm in with two pieces. I can go ahead and clean like I normally would. So I'm gonna go ahead and undo my figure eight. Out of there. And then I'm gonna run it through the bottom of the chains or the ring. In this case, we actually have a chain and a ring. And I'm gonna retie my figure eight. And this is the part that you really wanna pay attention to. This is the part where a lot of people make mistakes and they forget to follow through or they miss a tying point. Or they don't tie it correctly. So I'm gonna do a visual double check here. I've got my figure eight, runs through both pieces, back down to my belayer. Looks like I'm through both tying points. So to test this system, I'm gonna actually have to remove this second piece. So undo the beaner, undo the knot. So then to test it, I'm gonna take up so that I'm fully on my knot. And I might have to pull up on the gear to do this as well. Amanda, you can take that. So now I'm completely weighting my knot. I know my system's good. Do another visual check through both time points. Knot's good, through the ring and the chain. So I can go ahead and clean my gear. You're good to go. Amanda, you can lower. 